Hi everyone, my name is Kevin. Today I want to show you how you can record your Windows 10 computer screen without having to download any screen recorders or any software. You could simply use an app that comes with Windows 10. And as full disclosure, before we jump into this, I work in Microsoft as a full-time employee. All right, well, let's jump to it. So here I am on my desktop, and if we want to record my screen, well, I don't want to just record my boring desktop. I need something fun, so why don't we open up a game? I have this game on my computer called Parkitect, and here it is. And what Parkitect is, it's a computer game where you build an amusement park. Kind of fun, you could build the rides, you have day, night mode, but you can see it here on my screen. And what I want to do now is I want to record this screen. So how do I do it? Well, I mentioned that there's an app that comes with Windows. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the Start Menu button, and that brings up my Start Menu, and the app is called the Game Bar. Um, so there I'm just going to type in Game Bar, and here you'll see it pop up. It's called the Xbox Game Bar. Once again, you do not need Xbox to be able to use this app. It's a free app that comes with Windows 10. The other way you can launch this app is you press a key combination on your keyboard. You press the Windows key and the G uh, key. So G is in Game. And if you press that shortcut combination, it'll also launch the Xbox Game Bar. So you can choose how you want to launch it. Easy ways, you just type it in your uh, Windows search and it'll pop up as a best match. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in the shortcut key, uh, Windows G. And this brings up the Xbox Game Bar um, experience. And so you'll see lots of different windows on my screen by default, but there's really only one that truly matters. And uh, that's right up here in the top left-hand corner, Broadcast and Capture. Um, so here you'll see that I could click on this first button and that'll take a screenshot. Um, underneath, you'll also see what the shortcut key is. So Windows Alt Print Screen will take a shortcut key. Uh, what I could also do is I could record the last 30 seconds of a game. So let's say that you're playing a game and you own someone in the game and you want to go back and you want to see that footage. Well, you could get the last 30 seconds. What we can also do is there is an option here to start recording. So Windows, the Alt key, and the R key. So if I press those three keys together, that'll just automatically kick off the recording. So Windows G launches the game bar experience, and then pressing Windows Alt R will actually kick off the recording, or I could just press this button, so either way. Um, so what I'm gonna do is let's do a quick uh, screen recording here. So I'm gonna click on uh, record screen. And so what you'll see now is I have this little broadcast and capture button that went on. So it shows that I'm four seconds into my recording. Uh, and here I see the stop button when I'm done. So now what I'm going to do is I see the recordings in progress. Um, you know, here I could hit the stop button. I could also turn on my microphone clicking this button if I want my voice on top of it. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is let's go through and I'll show you this, uh, this amusement park. It's kind of cool. You get all these, it looks like it's nighttime right now. Um, so I get all these lights and all the different rides. Um, you know, here I have, what kind of ride is that? It's called Wipeout. Um, so lots of, lots of different rides at this uh, amusement park. But so the main idea is I have my game recording going on. Now I'm gonna click on the stop button and it says my game click has been recorded. So here it says press Windows G for the Xbox Game Bar. So let's go ahead and press that uh, shortcut key again. What I could do now is if I click on show all captures, um, here I could see the video that I just recorded. So I'm gonna go ahead and play my video. Uh, and here uh, you'll see me kind of going through, showing the park, but that's my screen recording. What I can also do is if I click on this Open in File Explorer button, uh, this will show me my video that I just recorded in File Explorer. So let me zoom out here. And what I could do is I'm just gonna sort by date so I could find the most recent video. Here I could double click on it. And here's also my screen recorder um, on Windows. Now what I could do is uh, with this file then, I could take this MP4, uh, MP4 file and I could go to YouTube and I could upload it. I could go to Facebook, I could upload this video by taking this video file. Um, so that's really how simple it is to record your computer screen using the game bar. A few of the things that I also wanted to show with the game bar, what we're going to do is I opened it up again by pressing Windows G. I'm going to click into settings. Now there are a few settings that are kind of interesting and I figured I'd give a quick view of those. One of them is uh, if you click on shortcuts. Um, so here within the shortcut view, you'll see what all the shortcuts are to use the game bar. So you can press Windows G if you want to open the game bar. You could change this to anything else as well if you'd prefer another shortcut key. Um, and then you can see, you know, to take a screenshot, record the last 30 seconds, start and stop recording. You can see what the shortcut keys are. So if you want to be a master of the game bar, you don't have to, you know, open it up and click buttons. Instead, you can just use your keyboard. It's a little quicker. Uh, what you could also do is there's a cool thing under personalization where you could either set a light theme or you could set a dark theme. If, you know, let's say it's at night and you want to be a little easier on the eyes, 
uh, you could go with that. Um, also under capturing, this is kind of interesting too, you could choose what audio you want to record. So you could record the game and a microphone, you can record everything, or you could rec uh, record no audio at all. So you have a lot of different options here. You could also set notifications, so you could turn off notifications when you're playing and recording your screen, and you have a few other settings. So you could go, go ahead and just explore the menu and see what you can do within there. I'm going to close out the settings. Uh, some of the other things that you'll see here is you could adjust your audio, so the, you know, whether the game, how loud you want that to be versus system sounds. You can see your performance to see how well your computer is handling both the game and the, uh, the screen recording at the same time. And then because it is an Xbox app, you could also see uh, Xbox social things like who your friends are who are online uh, at the current time. Um, but the key thing of screen recording is included as part of this app. Now with the Xbox Game Bar and using this as a screen recorder, uh, you could record a browser window. You could record any type of app window. Uh, one of the, and you could record any types of games uh, that you need to record. Some of the downsides though is if you use a Win32 app, um, let's say Word as an example, if you click on any of the file menus, the file menus won't show up and you can only record one window at a time so you can't record uh, say a desktop. Those are some of the drawbacks of the Xbox Game Bar. However, it does come for free as part of your PC so it's a nice app to try and especially if you need a uh, screen recorder in a hurry, uh, you could very easily take advantage of this. If you're looking for a better and more powerful screen recorder though, one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my desktop. Uh, there's another tool called OBS Studio. I have a video on how to get that and how to set that up. I've included that as the first comment and also in the description. If you want a more powerful screen recorder, that's a very good option. You have lots of customization. You could you know, set lots of different things. Uh, it's more powerful than the game bar, but once again, it requires a download. It's also free, but it's a little more complicated, requires a few more steps. Um, so all in all, the Game Bar is a pretty solid screen recorder that'll let you uh, record your Windows 10 computer screen without any issues. Anyway, I hope you found this video uh, useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this in the future, please hit that subscribe button. And if you have any questions, any comments, feel free to leave it down below uh, in the comments and I'll do my best to respond to them. Anyway, thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.